Parents walking their children out of this Goddard Riverside Daycare Center location on Manhattan's West 91st Street are worried about the little ones. And we don't mean just their children. This is the correct location. There are other little ones at this Upper West Side location. Pests in the form of a serious rodent infestation. We were actually appalled because we had no idea that this issue, um, this uh, was a presenting issue at the center. Had I known, my child would not have been here. Ann Bascom and Shangel Megan showed us several photos of rodent droppings in the daycare center's bathroom and play area. This story caught our attention not just because of the thought of rodents scurrying here between playmats and children's toys. Let's be honest, if you live in a New York City apartment building, there's a fair to good chance, regardless of how clean you are, pests might eventually make it into your own space. Is this the school's issue or is this NYCHA's issue? Well, it's, it's sort of both. I mean, you know, the, the Department of Health oversees it, but we are in a building that, uh, you know, that is run by the New York City Housing Authority. But here at the daycare center, it's who Executive Director Stefan Russo is partly blaming for the problem that compelled us to ask more probing questions about the New York City Housing Authority's role as a landlord. There was some mouse droppings that were seen, and we, you know, wanted to correct that. We'll correct that right away. We checked the New York City Health Department website, and sure enough, the daycare center's failed January 25th inspection, citing pests and potential hazards, remains open. A health department spokesperson tells PIX11, quote, if at any point the health department is not confident in a site's ability to safely accommodate children, the department takes immediate action to close the program and to move the children to another center. After Executive Director Russo put part of the blame on his landlord, NYCHA, we reached out to the agency for answers on how it's handling pests and other issues at this and its other facilities. NYCHA said they would get back to us. In the meantime, parents here at Goddard say they are fed up. Are you concerned about your son being here? Well, yeah, of course. But like I said, I'm not surprised, you know, that they actually made it into this, you know, inside. Because I see them all the time, you know, it's everybody will tell you. The threat of a health department enforced closure here is real. Inspectors will re be returning this month, and at that point, the determination will be made of whether or not the children will need to be placed somewhere else. Let's talk about accountability. We spoke with Director Russo. You heard what he had to say. He says that the holes have been plugged up, the droppings have been cleared. He thinks the problem has been dealt with. We will see. We also spoke with NYCHA. They said that their exterminator is here once a week because they are aware of the problem. In terms of other facilities where NYCHA is the landlord, exterminators come when the problem is passed on or notified to them.